What's the most like sensitive area that you've tattooed someone on? Are you asking if I've tattooed a penis? Today, the Try Guys are getting tatted. Kind of. Tatty. I may have gone a little overboard. We're going to be using tattoos that last for one to two weeks. You got a tattoo? Whoa! But we're filming it right before Thanksgiving, and everyone's gonna be pretty surprised. You want me to keep you <laughs> right now? There's like a 50% chance that this video ends with me deciding to just go full in and get like 20 tattoos tomorrow. <laughs>So I am Zoe Taylor and we're at the Warren Tattoo Shop in Studio City. What advice do you have for somebody who's thinking about getting their first tattoo? If you want to, you should, and if you don't want to, then don't do it. This may come as a shock to some people, but I love tattoos. I want tattoos. I'm just an incredibly indecisive person. I don't have a tattoo. I don't think I have any desire to have one. I don't have any tattoos. Not morally opposed to it, I just don't think it's for me. But, you know, life is long. Today we are working with a temporary tattoo company. It stains your body for two weeks. At the end of the video, we're going to prank our significant others and families into thinking that it's permanent. I genuinely think if these tattoos, if anything makes you happy, then it will also make me happy, minus a bunch of penises all over your arms and legs. So not a bunch, so just like one penis. Is it a cute penis? <laughs> Today, you're gonna show us what it's actually like for someone to get a real tattoo. Never actually yeah. seen it. Really? Yeah, yeah, I've only watched it's it on YouTube. It's gonna be scary. There's a lot of blood, so we're gonna... For real? No. Okay, so walk me through the yeah. example. Ned and I come in. Yeah. yeah. We're like, we want matching BFF yeah. tomato tattoos. I love tomatoes. <laughs> so then we have to go through replacement, design, style, composition, all that stuff. When a person walks in, most of the time they're not an artist. So they don't know how to get themselves where they want to be. So it's important that the artists figure out what it is exactly that you want. I think there's so many different motivations. It's decorative. Some people do it to make themselves feel better about their body, cover stretch marks, cover scars. It is an artist-client relationship yeah. where like we are artists sometimes and a client might be like, you should edit it this way. And we're like, no, that's stupid. <laughs> and they, they don't understand. Like I can help anybody figure out exactly what they want. Whoa. Even if they can't describe it to me at all, I can Whoa. figure it out. You're like a therapist. Or a ninja. <laughs> or a ninja, a little brain right? ninja. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's time. Shall I begin? I would be terrified right now. Yeah. You're calm. You're clearly a, a veteran. I've done this before. Can you tell us about the tattoo this person's getting? Yeah, so this is Adam. He has a whole collection every, you know, like technical drawings. Uh, so we stenciled him before you guys got here because we needed time for it to dry. So we printed out his image, sized it, put it on, and then we give it usually about an hour. So what is a tattoo? I mean, we're putting the ink underneath your skin, and then all the skin that breaks, it'll heal over and that layer falls off and it's underneath there. Oh my god, he was so calm. <laughs> like a cat who's asleep. Go make me laugh. You always start to regret it after the first line. <laughs> oh yeah? Immediately, <laughs> why did I do this today? <laughs> but that's one of the reasons I've never gotten a tattoo is a fear of an eventual regret. Anytime I order something like at a restaurant, I'm already thinking I probably should have gotten something different. <laughs> What does it feel like? You aren't acting like it hurts, but I feel like that part of your body, it must not feel good. It sucks. Are there places that are better or oh, worse yeah. in terms yeah, of the pain? It hurts a little yeah. bit, right? It hurts a lot. It hurts a lot? <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah. What, nobody told you that? I mean, everyone always minimizes it. Liars. Jonathan, how many tattoos you got? I have two tattoos. It's hard to say how many I have. I've probably had about 15 to 17 tattoo sessions. Uh, my first one is behind my left ear and it says live fearlessly. I don't have any tattoos, but I think that tattoos are ultra hot. Um, my most recent one is actually right behind my arm. Um, and this is my rugby one. And it's in like everybody's different handwriting. So like I have one of my teammates and one of my other teammates has mine. I've played rugby since college and like that's like how I made all my friends in college. So I have three tattoos. Um, they're all very tiny. I, sometimes when I'm driving, I'll be like driving my car and I'll like turn my, my elbow a little bit. I'll be like, because I think it's a bug. <laughs> like, so I came 
close. I was at a, I used to work a lot in the music industry and I was at one of Miley Cyrus's parties and they had someone there doing tattoos and I was like, for free. I was like, oh, I could just do it. And I didn't. I don't know, I'm not opposed. Is Zach going? I'll go with him and I'll consider it. What do you think when you see someone who's absolutely covered in tattoos? Hot, yeah. <laughs> This is hot. Big sexual energy. So we have our tattoos. Yes, it's time. We are going to get tatted. All right, so we got all of our stuff here. We've got primer wipes, and we've got a ton of designs to choose from. Honestly, I want my arm to look like a child drew all over it. These are the ones that I'm like. No, don't get mine. We, uh, Keith, what's your vision for today? So I wanted to get tattoos I might have chosen in high school and college. I know that lots of people sometimes they get it and then they may, maybe they don't like it, but there's something special about it anyway. I've got some little treble clefs. We've got a little bit of Beethoven here. Bum, 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 bum. I mean, I have a lot of tattoos that are actual shit and they're very sentimental because to me, every tattoo is like a bookmark of that day. Here's a big astronaut. Oh, you got big That's ones. Cool. I want big ones. This is the biggest one I got and it doesn't even mean anything. <laughs> so there's so many variables and it just depends on all those decisions that you make, which you should be guided to make the right ones. If I were realistically getting a tattoo, it'd probably be some stupid, small, like, you know, artsy bullshit on my wrist or whatever. All right, we've got this cool art. We've got little smiley space, little dinosaur. So what are some of the different styles of tattoos? You'd have to say like American traditional, like the Sailor Jerry, like kind of where tattoos started for in the US. Black and gray realism where you have like a portrait and it looks like a photograph or color realism where you get into this Oh my God, people get crazy. It's because it's temporary. I thought I would do a full sleeve. So <laughs> here we go. I'm doing a knife on my wrist. I shouldn't let you get something in a style that's not gonna work at that size. Because you don't know that. You think it looks sharp? I'm tatted. And you know what? Honestly, I did it like kind of uneven and I'm kind of glad that I did. I already feel like I'm not buff enough for this. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> same, same feeling. How long would it take to get these. That would depend on the style. Say you guys were doing like cute little cartoony things, they may be five minutes a piece. So you gotta put this smiley face on you somewhere. I'm gonna do my butt. You're gonna do your butt? I'm gonna do my butt. Mine's on my, my right cheek. Oh my God, they made me custom ones. Thin, Ariel, West. Just bite the belt, brother. You want, you want it. Like that. Yeah. Oh, maybe I should be flexing. You know what? We were talking to the tattoo artist. She was like, you have to work with the client because they're not the artists. And I feel I that. I feel that right now. I thought you wanted like a bunch of little tattoos. This I... is turning into like big ones. I want more. Um, it's a lot. I don't think it looks like good or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell her earlier you were doing this video? No, she has no idea. No idea. There aren't any I regret. I mean, I have some really stupid tattoos, but I just think they're funny. If I could change something, I would definitely change the placement of one of them. Um, so I have a tramp stamp, and it was supposed to be a matching tramp stamp with my mother. It was like a six hour long tattoo. And then my mom's like, yeah, I'm not getting that. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> So the first one you won't be seeing on camera today, but um, uh, it's actually a funny story. So me and all my high school friends got it together. It's like a little sun with five points. My friends actually got it on our senior trip, like went out to Mission Beach in San Diego and they all got the tattoo there and I was supposed to get it with them. And I like chickened out. Um, so they like held that over my head for years. My last year of college, they kind of like made me get it. <laughs> So it was like way, it was way past the time frame. I thought I had like gotten out clean, but like every year on my birthday, they would like kind of tease that they were gonna like take me to a tattoo shop. And I was like, oh, f um, so yeah, I have a little, a little sun on my ass. And that was, that was my first tattoo. <laughs> No, not at all. I think all of my tattoos um, mean something to me in the time that I got them. In 2018, I was going through a really hard time. I was going through divorce, and um, I just wanted something 
that made me feel like me again, um, that could like notate that I am a strong person and that I could get through it. So I got this tattoo. It's a triangle with a rose in it. Um, the triangle is supposed to be for the symbol delta, which means change, if you remember from math class. And the rose is supposed to signify beauty to remind myself that there is still beauty in change. And, um, and I just love it so much. Well, I woke up and I guess I, I didn't take their advice of wearing a shirt to bed to heart and perhaps there was a little bit of ink bleed on my hand. This one bled a little bit and Becky thinks that this one looks like the evil guy character from Nightmare Before Christmas. Tattoos are not like shoes, so you do get what you pay for and you're not gonna get the same quality going at two places at two different price points. So I'm sitting here about to get dressed in the morning. I just caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror. And it's sweet, like having tattoos just makes me feel like I'm stronger. Day one of tattoos and I'm kind of in the who is she phase. I keep catching glimpses of myself and I'm like, oh, okay. You're a little bad boy. I, I love this guy. I just love the little the little critters. Uh, this is cool, kind of like a permanent bracelet. I need I need something to fill in this space. You know, what? I'm gonna go get myself another tattoo right now. I'm gonna do it. F it. All right, I'm at the gym now. I'm gonna see what JP thinks of my tattoos. What's up, JP? What do you think of my new tattoos? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that is dope. What do you think when you see someone who's covered in tattoos? What's your reaction? It depends. Harry Styles, I think is good. When I see someone covered in tattoos, I don't really think about it much because many of my friends are covered in tattoos, so it doesn't spark any like thoughts of rebellion or whatever. What are some misconceptions people have about tattoos? I don't do hard drugs and listen to heavy metal, but people think I should. <laughs> Does it look, into, is it intimidating? I feel like it's I think just... the hearts really bring it down. Yeah, it's yeah. not as intimidating. Right, no, it's sort of silly. You seem like a very caring, loving man. Wow. We're at Disney. Got my tattoo. Honestly, when it's blown out, it looks pretty good. I will say, so far, I'm trying to cover everything up because I really don't like the one-up mushroom. So this has confirmed I would not have liked that. There's like a certain aesthetic to 20 teens, LA girls, where they get like line tattoos on their arms, behind their ears, maybe right here. These are places that aren't gonna shift and change so much as time goes on. You know, like if I'd had a belly tattoo, that thing would be a different beast now, <laughs> right? When I see someone who's totally covered in tattoos, I think, wow, that was expensive. Tattoos are not cheap. You got a tattoo? Oh, did I, Bilo? Did I? What do you think of it? it it's great, but I, I, I don't know what the song is. Look at it real close. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> do you notice any other tattoos, Bilo? Oh, oh, my goodness, you have a treble clef on your wrist. Uh -huh. And oh then, my goodness. And then what do you think of this? What? Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> hold on, hold this. What more, Bebo? Hold on. There's this one. What? What's going on, right? Oh, there, there's a man in space. It's a little blurry. It's yeah. very blurry, yeah. Yeah. So they're not real. I like it. Yeah. I'm going to show Lauren my tattoos. Dun, dun, dun. Show me the tats. Whoa! Oh shit! Wait, this is kind of what you wanted, like little Patrick pieces. Uh huh. All over. Oh, boom, boom. Oh, ah! oh my god. This is the best oh one, god. right? I want this for real. What? <laughs> it's like a, a great unmade. She stole thing. that from me. Here it is. Look at the magic one. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> There's more. Oh dear god. Oh wow. Um. This is not real. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> you do it? Is that a Celtic symbol? Yeah, yeah, it's a Celtic symbol. Ariel, Wes, and Finn. So that one's you. <laughs> that one's me. Yeah, I'm Celtic. I know. Well. I'm already used to you with tattoos. 
You think uh, you think I should get one for real? No, I think you should get two. I'm in three. Three feels like a good number. You know what? You don't want to do odd, you gotta do four. Let's make it an even 20. We're gonna see what my parents say. They're not gonna be happy. I showed my grandmother these. She wasn't proud of me. Okay, but does that change your accomplishments? A little bit. At age 23, I told my parents I was gay. That went fine. I kept the tattoo a secret <laughs> for years longer. Uh, my dad grew up like loving the DC comics specifically, and he has a Superman tattoo for his dad who passed when he was um, a kid. So this is the let actually the letter B in Krypton, which is Superman's language for B for Burke, my last name. What's your reaction to other Asian if Dune and Poppy are still calling me mommy at 18, they are not allowed to get tattoos. Um, right now, the idea is horrifying to me. The world has not imparted its mark on them in any way. They're perfect. All right, so it's uh, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. I'm about to go surprise Ariel's family with my tattoos. Uh, they're a little faded, but hopefully I can still pull off the prank. Hey, what's up? Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. You have a surprise yeah, for? it's my tattoos. <laughs> oh, Look, uh, it's your, daughter, your daughter and your grandchildren's thing. I understand thing. these choices. Do you ever think? Wes and Finn. Do you ever think that I would I mean, get tattoos? The other, the, the heart with barbed wire. Yeah, it's because um, I'm hardcore. Flames. Hardcore. Yeah. Uh, so I did a thing, and I don't want you guys to freak out. Okay. It's an exciting thing for me, something I wanted to do a long time. I got a tattoo. Oh no. Oh, f yeah. Then I have this in my hand. I got multiple tattoos. Okay, wait, I gotta get my one. <laughs> my parents weren't super stoked when I got my first tattoo. Uh, I think that they were hoping it was a joke. Then they saw that it wasn't a joke and they just said, you f***ing idiot, and that was the end of that. Okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Cutie. <laughs> Those are real? <laughs> you can't get rid of those. Try taking it off. Why don't I get rid of them? Okay, so Megali just saw the tattoos for the first time. Yeah, and, and she is trying to rub them off. <laughs> is it coming off? <laughs> A little bit. Yes. Right? Good. Yeah. Oh, they're real. You sure? My mom's also in denial. <laughs> no, no, right? You want me to keep you? <laughs> no, right now. Right now. Right now. <laughs> oh, Maggie, please. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't even know. notice? No, I didn't even notice. We went together. Do you like it? Yeah. They're not real. They're not I real. saw your stories. They're not real. Yeah, I got, I got your granddaughter's name tattooed on my arm. And this is a, a, a beat? It's not a beat. A it's not a beat. A, it's a no, it's, no, it's not a beat. It's not a beat. It's a charm symbol. That one's the so real. The charm, no, it's not the charm symbol. No, it's, it's a, it's a, Ned really it's a likes Celtic the, symbol Ned of protection. Really likes the show no, it's not so that, guys, it's not. <laughs> Anyways, you think I should keep them? Or should I like tattoo something else over them? You like what do you think of you tattoos? Like I was I was thinking about getting a motorcycle I, also. I think tattooing is stupid. <laughs> there you go. There you go. The the darker version is that uh, in 2016 I was really really depressed. Um, I came pretty close to killing myself um, several times and. I, I got the tattoo during, I wasn't out of that dark season yet. I was still in it, but I would have these moments, I would have spans where I would kind of come up for air, you know? And during one of those, I kind of came up for air and realized like, I can't do that. I have to, I have to keep, keep living, you know? And so 
I was at a coffee shop that's no longer open. It's called Cafe Vita um, that I used to go to a lot. And I just had the idea of like, okay, I want some sort of reminder on my body that things do get better. And so I looked up on Google, the nearest uh, tattoo parlor, found one like two blocks away. I walked in, I got the tattoo. And uh, I'm glad I did, I'm glad I did. And uh, I got out of that season and uh, I'm, I'm glad that I did, I'm glad that I'm here. And uh, this tattoo is just a reminder to keep going. I th I've always, always been fascinated by them. I certainly think it's a cool art form and I wanted people to tell their tattoo stories because I definitely think every tattoo has a story, even if it was, I was just a little buzzed in this. I don't know, like even when they're insignificant, I think there's an interesting story behind making that decision. I have one on my lip that I got by myself. Um, it says bitch, so that's why. Okay. Can we hear that more about, like, can you show it? Yeah, I can show it. You can't really, it's like kind of tiny, but it's there. How much does that hurt? Not at all. Or maybe I'll do, I think about Fred Rogers a lot. So maybe I do like the trolley or the tiger or like something like that. I went to see the movie and that was the second time I saw my dad cry. I just thought it was like, a, and I just think he's like really comforting, I guess. I have uh, two older siblings uh, and we were hoping to get our birth order in Roman numerals. When I was a kid, smiley faces always made me laugh. You know, life is crazy, it is absurd. And so I have this smiley face on my butt that reminds me not to take things too seriously. I think Zach will probably get one. This is my favorite. That's I true. genuinely may get this or something like this. This one too. And I like this placement because I can see it mm -hmm. and other people can see it. But I could see Ned like just chaotically getting one. The strange thing is the more that I looked at it, the more normal it became. I mean, look, I have a uh, little baby Wes as my desktop background. Why not have a little, little baby Wes on my arm? Yeah. I don't think it's Zach. I think he would, uh, I don't think he could ever settle on anything. I'm, I'm gonna go with Keith. I think he would be open to getting something goofy. <laughs> First of all, I hate these. This one, <clears throat> as a tattoo, I don't like it. Now, the one that I do like is this one. And I like most of all that most of the time people won't see it. If I'm wearing pants, it's not there. It's only gonna be out when I want it to be out. This guy's my favorite. I like him. So I think the style of a lot of the tattoos I like, they're intentionally rough. I want art that encourages me to just get out there and make and not worry so much. It really gave me a, a more of a respect for the people that have tattoos because it's a big commitment. And I do think it's cool that each one can tell a story. If you're gonna pay money to put something on your body forever, make sure you are spending your money wisely. <laughs> Choose someone amazing like our expert. They're gonna help you put it in the right spot. They're gonna help you know what's good. They're gonna make sure they're a good, they can do a good job of it. But yeah, uh, I've never even dyed my hair. Final question, yeah. what'd you tattoo on that guy's dick? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> nice. I guess a cautionary tale about tattoos, my uncle used to have a giant angel on his back and then he got divorced and <laughs> You got the whole thing removed. So I guess like it's a, such a huge commitment, I guess you gotta go little. You don't wanna go big, cause then it's, you know, a lot to take out.